All right, hello. Welcome back to Phantasmagoria. Let's go ahead and jump into the next chapter, which is chapter six. Ah, yes, chapter six. Miss Adrian. Okay, the brushing noises. Little lipstick. The noises they use for this. Great. 920. In the morning? Or at night time. How's the husband? Is he still passed out down here? Ooh. Someone had a rough night. Oh. Dawn? Oh, God. Hey, Adrian. Are you all right, honey? Yeah. I just hit the whiskey a little too hard last night. That's all. Whiskey? Okay. Don, let's leave. Please. We gotta get out of here. Look what this this place is doing to you. Leave. Leave. Ooh. This is our home, Adrian. We can never leave this place. Oh no. The cat's collar? Oh no, he did not. He did not! Oh, what do you want? Hi. Yeah, I'm I don't care about the damn phone. I'll get out of here as soon as I can. All right, fine. Get in here and fix it. And then you leave. Oh my god. Nice hair, though. He's got some nice hair. I'll give him that. Very, it's very nice and healthy looking, despite the pixelation. <laughs> Yo, th this is nuts. Oh no, is this guy? Bitch. Shit. Oh, this is dark, right? Um, here's the thing. I feel like we shouldn't talk to this man fixing the phones because, <laughs> um, yeah, you know, oh God. Let's see our fortune. Okay. We always got to do that first thing. Okay. What is it now, girl? Talk to me. What's that? All right, let's go. Pick it up. Oh, I still have the picture down here. Evil e here. Right. Find your salvation. Yes, we know this. We know there's evil here. We've we've saw that the first day. I mean, we still have this photograph down here. I don't know why. Is that there? Go back to the old man? I don't know. Hey, Mike. Oh, hi. Oh, God. I'm just finishing up this job. I'll get out of here as soon as I can. Watch out. Oh, handsome Mike, man. I want to apologize <laughs> for Don. He just. My husband's crazy. It's the house. He hasn't been himself lately. Well, you don't have to say nothing. I just don't want to get tangled up in family quarrels. That's all. All right, whatever. I know, I understand. Well, I better get back to work. Yep. Okay. Where did I want to go again? Maybe go see the old man? Does I have this picture? I have, I don't know. Uh, maybe I could try. All right, let's go outside. I'm gonna come home, this guy's gonna be dead. 
<laughs> oh man. Wow. Oh. Let's go to the barn as well. Let's do that before we leave because... No, maybe they're back. Uh, maybe they're not. Oh, they are. Oh, are they packing up? Where are you going? Harriet. Oh, um, I see you caught us. Where are you going? Can't you see? We're leaving. We're getting the hell out of here. But I thought you needed a job and a place to stay. Well, um, I didn't want to say anything, but uh, now that you're here, I saw your hubby last night. Oh. And, well, he threatened my boy and me. Said that uh, if me and Cyrus didn't leave, we'd be hanging from the rafters. Damn. And I believed him. I saw the look in his eyes. All right. There's something real bad around here. And I can't explain it, but it exists. What exists? The ectoplasm. <laughs> Evil. <laughs> right. And if you had any sense, young lady, Evil is here. you'd leave too. I would have loved to do that. Seriously. Did I say anything Cyrus? else? Oh. Huh? Huh? You don't want to leave, do you? Hey. Well. You didn't kill my cat, right? Ma, I said we got Boy. it. Stop your gabbing and get back to work. I guess I'm still holding out hope that the husband didn't actually kill the cat. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want anyone to have killed the cat, but, you know, hey. Harriet. Can she keep saying you change so? your mind about leaving? I'll talk to Dawn. Look, don't take it personal. It ain't you. Cyrus and me gotta go. That's that. Well, are you sure, though? Okay, fine. Goodbye. I'm gonna try to go talk to the old man now because I have this photograph. I don't know. I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to do. <laughs> Maybe there's more things here as well. <sighs> Come on. All right. Go this way real quick and then we'll go into town oh i can't oh yeah i can <laughs> i have to go in first hello is anyone home i have a photograph i would like to uh show this old man I forget what his name was oops wait Open up right now. Do as I say. Oh, yes. What do you want? Well, this here. I wanted to give Malcolm this old photo. <laughs> I found it at the Carnivash estate. Mm -hmm. It's a photo of Malcolm and Carno. See what's written on the back? Come on. See Malcolm as a young boy. Please, you've got to let me in to see Malcolm. It's important. Bro, she is not interested. <laughs> Just a minute. What is with this old woman? Relax, okay? I know you've been alive for a while, but cut me some slack, all right? Malcolm wants to see you now. Yes, thank you. I'm glad this is where I was supposed to go. <laughs> Oh, um. She is here, Malcolm. What the hell? Where is he? Set. In the darkness? Why is he in the dark corner of the room? Oh, Jesus. Uh, sir? I remember. <laughs> what was he? This picture. Okay. I was just a young nipper of ten. Carno was my hero. Your hero? Then. Your hero? 
Yeah. I know what you saw in this picture. Saw? Yeah. What? The evil. The evil. I saw the evil in the it's picture. Back. The evil is back. Yes, it is, actually. And my husband? <laughs> Fucked. <laughs> meant me to live for you. What? Yeah, but lady. Sit down. Sit down. To tell you. Oh my goodness. No. I was like, if he's going back. <laughs> I was just picturing him going back Bardo into the darkness. And his first wife <laughs> adopted me. I, oh. At that time, he was a good man, respected by his colleagues, loved by his wife, admired by his audiences. But all that changed when he got the book. The book? He gained immense powers through contact with the black forces. Through the book, he unleashed a demon. An uh, entity whoops. so evil it had no name, no worldly description. This thing came to possess Kano, body and soul. Kano became like it. He became very powerful. And his, his fame and, and, and his wealth increased. Okay. But he was cursed. He had loved his wife, Hortensia, and their baby daughter. But all that changed. He became abusive. I don't Jesus. Have I believe he that. killed them both. I believe he killed all his wives. But the man's Malcolm been busy. What happened Jesus. The night Carno and Marie died. Carno's final days came when Marie took up with his prop man, Gaston right. Warwick. Obviously. Marie suspected Carno of committing terrible deeds with herself as his next victim. Together, Marie and Gaston hatched a plan. Oh no. He had a new act, an amazing oh, shit. Of escape. But Marie the machine. What? Arno couldn't escape. They figured oh. it would him. It oh. almost did. Oh my god. For two weeks, Carno lay in a coma. But then, one night, he awoke. Oh no. Swearing revenge. Oh God, I guys! I saw Carno drag an unconscious Gaston into yeah. his theater. Oh! There, from within the secret passages, I watched as Carno tortured and mutilated the poor man. Oh my God! Leaving him for dead. Oh then no! It was Marie's turn. Jeez. Totally crazed. Nothing but pure revenge on his mind. Carno started up that god awful machine. That Ew. awful contraption. And before my very eyes, I'm sorry that he died. Good. I'll never forget. Oh, the what? The look of shocked surprise on Carno's face. Poor Gaston was dying. Oh. This was his final heroic Holy shit. Act. Oh. To my horror. Oh. I then saw. The evil. A demon. 
The demons! That's all I know to call it. Leave his body and disappear through the theater floor. Oh my god. I knew where it was going. Carno knew it too. My only thought was of running away, but I, I hesitated when when I saw Carno going to the same place the demon had gone. I rushed what? back to the hidden passages just in time to see Carno carrying the chest which held that evil muck. Then, just before reaching the chapel, he stumbled and fell for the last time. Jeez. I saw him cross himself in the Catholic way before dying. Right. I think he was trying to make his peace with God. I picked up the chest containing that horrid book, and I assume the demon itself. Should have burnt it, bro. It into the chapel. I really don't know what I thought I was doing, but somehow I, I, I felt as if I were containing this cursed evil. I had hoped forever uh. after leaving the chapel. Wow. I, I then dragged Carno's body. You dragged his back body to back. His secret chamber. Bullshit. Where he now lies. But wait. Carno's not in his tomb? No, no, no. That is Gaston Warwick. He he was so mutilated that they all thought he was Carno. Huh. I said nothing. I let them think what they wanted. And what about the demon? The demon? You let it oh, out, Adrian. That's why I agreed to talk with you. Somehow, oh it must have been released. Oh, yeah, it was released, all right. Oh, Adrian, you, you done fucked up, girl. Oh, my God. Dawn. Oh, yeah, Dawn. <laughs> that guy. What can we do? The only answer is the accursed book. Oh, with it, you, you've got to send that, that thing back to where it came from. Back to the other side. How would you like me to do that, sir? You have seen the book. You want me to slap it? What do you want me to do? Yes. I thought so. All right, young woman. You're the only one who can do this. Oh, God. Your husband's soul is ensnared. I'm, I'm not sure what I can do or what can be done for him. Nothing. He's, he's done. If you can somehow get close to the demon, here's what you can do. You need it. the book, a, a holy item, um, the stone of Hammurabi. What? And the blood of a sentient being. Now, take the book and... Uh, what happened at the end there? <laughs> take the book. Uh, what the hell was that? Just cut randomly there? Weird. Okay, the blood of a sentient being. Okay. Uh. Uh huh. Can I go this way? <laughs> Can I go into town real quick? To like look around? I don't know. Hey, sir. Can I speak to you? No? Okay. Antiques. Oh, antiques. Maybe this is where uh, one of the items is that we need. Did you say 18th or 19th century cameos? Ah. Unfortunately, I don't have any at this time, but Antique plants. I do have some very fine old jewelry if you'd care to. Oh, uh-huh. I understand. I see. 
I see. Well, I will be on the lookout for any cameos of that description. And you said you'd pay well? This the the sound. All right, I'll be sure to call you back if I find anything. What is going on? You're welcome. Okay, Bye. thanks. Is this sound jacked up, or am I crazy? Hi. Hello. See anything you like? Oh, I'm just looking. Thanks. Take your time. Dude. Yeah, I'm looking for the stone of uh, Hammurabi. Okay. Hammurabi? What do you thanks. say? <laughs> I'm looking for a stone. You got any? <laughs> like, excuse me. Okay, can I click around, please? Uh, over here. Oh, is that what I need? This cross? Uh, excuse me. Yes. You know that beautiful crucifix in the display case over there? Yes. I was wondering how much you're asking for it. It is a lovely piece, isn't it? Yes. It's beautiful. This particular crucifix is not terribly old, only from the early 19th century, but it is a rare piece made out of titanium, a metal which had only just been discovered. Oh, I didn't know they made jewelry out of titanium. They don't, as a general rule. That's what makes this such a rare piece. Oh, God, how much you want, girl? It is interesting. So, how much? Oh, not much considering its rarity. <laughs> Only 2,200. That much? That's more than I can afford right now. Come well, on. In that case, call me if you need any further assistance. Are you serious? I have ghosts in my house. I need this crucifix. Ma'am. Ma'am, I have demons. Literally, some demons. Nothing else in here? I, I don't want to... Do I have to look at it again? I don't know, guys. Let me just talk to her. Please. Uh, Ma'am? Yes? Hi. I'm Adrian Delaney. I just moved here from Boston. Um, I was wondering if you could maybe you... tell me... Did you say your name was Adrian Delaney? Oh, she You're a fan. You're not a writer, are you? <laughs> yes, <laughs> She's a fan. Why do you ask? Oh... I just loved your mystery novel, Blue Moon Rising. I couldn't put it down for a week. Can I have your autograph? Yes, yeah, and you can also sure. give me that crucifix for free. <laughs> thank you. Oh, oh my man, God. Thank you. Look at that. What's your next book about? Oh, now you're gonna have to wait for that to come out. Oh, fiddle, I was afraid you'd say that. Well, what can I do for you, Adrian? Well, I was hoping maybe you could tell me something about the area. Listen. I know everything that goes on around here. Like, I know you're the one who bought the old Carnivash estate. <sighs> Ever have any questions? I'm the one to ask. Great. I'll do just that. Okay. Thanks, uh, Lou Ann. Only uh, most folks call me Lou. Okay. Thanks, oh. Lou. Anytime. See that? Now we got friends in high places. All right. High places? I don't know. Low places? <laughs> Now she sees me and she's like, oh, you want this crucifix? You can have it for free, girl. I'll give you a discount. Wait. Let's go back. I have a question. Do you know anything about a very old man named Malcolm? Malcolm Wormshadow? Wormshadow. Talk about a strange old man. But I haven't seen him for months. Though Ethel does come into town to buy groceries. Who's Ethel? The woman that's there? Well, she's Malcolm's nurse, and also companion and housekeeper and whatever else. Uh, he's very old, you know. Almost 110. 110? Is that possible? I, I mean, told you, he's yeah. strange. Kind of rare, but yeah. It's like he's <laughs> immortal or something. Most people in town avoid him. <laughs> they call him a witch. But I don't believe all their talk. Well, I'd like to speak to Malcolm. I understand he used to live in my house as a child with Carno. Girl. That's true, he did, but I doubt if you can talk to him. He's like a hermit. Very Clearly, fun. this is supposed to happen oh, much earlier. Um, I'd like to try. I have a lot to ask him. No Girl, we already asked him. 
You have a lot of natural inquisitiveness. Well, to find him, we know about a mile out of town, down the dirt track, on the other side of the bridge. Okay. Thanks for the info. Sure. Wait, the crucifix. Eight thousand years Hi, later. Hi, Adrian. Can I help you? Oh no, thanks. Just looking around. Okay, let me know if you need me. Okay. <laughs> Um, okay. Can I go back to the crucifix now? Like, I thought for sure, because of my status, my status, she would be like, oh. Want that crucifix, girl? I'll let you have it. I smash it open. Are you serious? Can I really not get this crucifix right now? I stab? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, so weird. Why did I come in here? I don't, I'm so confused. I just came in here for all that chit chat. There was a lot there. I probably cut some of that out because there was, there was too much. What in the hell? Hello, good sir. Nice outfit. <laughs> oh, it's closed. I don't know why I even came down here. I, you know, I was thinking, hey, maybe, maybe the stone that I require is in here. He's not there, girl. He's not there, girl. All right. All right. Anyways, let's go. Get the hell out of here. We already talked to the old man. All right. Wonderful. Oh. Okay, Adrian. You're all set. Oh, wonderful. Great. Phone's in and it works just fine. Why don't you go ahead and test it? Okay. 911. What is your emergency? Great. Uh, Mike, I want to apologize for Don again. Just hasn't been himself lately. I mean, normally, he's a very nice guy. He, really. Yeah, don't even worry about it. It's no big deal. Haha! <laughs> the way he said that, it's no big deal. Do you call me if you have any trouble, okay? Oh shit, did the husband hear that? I sure will, thanks. Oh, he wants you to call him, dude. Hey, uh, if your husband and uh, you ever get a divorce... You can give me a... Oh shit! Oh, wait! Oh, the husband! <laughs> oh my god what the hell was that what all right well there's chapter six that one um was very long-winded very it was just like a story really for that one uh a few movies a little cutscenes. Not much to really do in this one. It was a little boring, not gonna lie. Come on, come on, game. Don't fail me now. <laughs> come on, Phantasmagoria. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Don't do this to me. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, I mean, hey, we got more information about the story. Um, I think there's only one more, maybe two more chapters? Question mark. I'm not really sh positive, but... Hopefully the next one is much better than this, because this was very slow and very boring. Anyways, um, I hope everyone has an amazing day or night wherever you are in the world, and as always, I'll see you guys again next time. <laughs> Bye, guys.